everybody, it's Honest John again. Now, even as the bombs that were sent in the mail by a Trump supporter were being diffused, Trump continued to use the kind of rhetoric that inspired him. Naturally, Trump blamed the incident on the press. Even though all that the press has been doing is reporting the things that he has been saying and the things that he has been doing. They're not making that stuff up. And he continues to call people who are protesting against him a mob. And the Republicans have taken up, they echo that, it's that the Democrats are an angry mob. And I have to admit that Democratic protesters have yelled, they've been disruptive, but they haven't threatened anybody. They haven't attacked anybody. They did speak loudly to Jeff Flake on the elevator, but they didn't threaten him, and he doesn't look like he's afraid. He looked like he was embarrassed. He looked like he was ashamed of himself, as well he should be. If you want to see a, a mob, go to a Trump rally. Don't forget, the person who sent the bombs was a Trump supporter. The person who murdered a young lady in Charlottesville was a Trump supporter. The people who carried uh, the, the lamps and yelled out, Jews will not replace us in Charlottesville, they were Trump supporters. It's Trump supporters who have been attacking immigrants, who have been committing hate crimes, and attacking mosques and synagogues all over the country. And Trump gets up and fans the flame of their anger. His advisors and some fellow Republicans have quietly suggested to him that he cool down the rhetoric, but none of them are willing to actually confront him about it because they know he can sick the mob on them. It's Trump supporters who march carrying Nazi swatch stickers and even have them tattooed on themselves. It's Trump supporters who march under KKK banners. It's Trump supporters that have been committing hate crimes. And Trump has been predicting acts of violence by his supporters if the midterm elections don't go the way he wants them to. So yes, there is an angry mob out there. But Trump is the one who's leading it. Thanks for listening. Hey, thanks for watching my videos. And I want you to keep on doing that. Just not on YouTube. If you look down in the description box, you're going to see two new links there. One is to my Patreon page, the other one is to a site called Top Buzz. Now on Top Buzz, they're letting me monetize my video and, I, and they're not even ads on them. So I'd like you to get in the habit of watching my videos there. Or you can go to my Patreon page and if you want to become a supporter, that would be great. If you don't, you can still watch my videos there. But for me, YouTube is no longer worth bothering with. It's just a launching pad that I use to put my videos at other places on the net. So I do want you to keep on watching my videos, but not on YouTube.